you talked earlier about that record low approval rating for President Biden. It's actually six points down just since February. And the skepticism over his leadership extends deep inside his own party. Only 36 percent of Democrats think that their party should nominate Joe Biden for a second term. Fifty eight percent say they would uh, support someone else or prefer someone else. That's despite the fact that the entire DNC, most of the Democratic establishment has rallied behind President Biden. And you're seeing real weaknesses in the coalition that powered Joe Biden to the president presidency back in, in 2020. Biden carried independence by 13 points against Donald Trump. He is now trailing Trump by nine points among those same voters. He carried black voters by 75 points in 2020. Now he is up just 35. That may sound like a lot, but the fact of the matter is, in, in modern politics, that is not the kind of number that a Democrat needs to be victorious. And then, of course, that, that does spill over into the head-to-head -head matchup, the hypothetical rematch, Trump versus Biden. Right now, a seven-point edge in our poll from uh, in Trump leading Biden. And, and, and in fact, it's an identity number with Ron DeSantis in a head-to-head -head that might happen next November. That tells us at this very early stage, George, that this race is shaping up a lot more about the incumbent president, Joe Biden, than it is about any of his challengers. So the African-American community, the independents, all across the board, Trump is winning and Biden is doing a horrible job. We told you so. We told you before the 2020 election. Guys, be careful what you wish for because you might just get it. Now you got it.